Good morning. Uh, we are in Paris, PVI 2023. I'm uh, Dr. Abgerinos. I'm a vascular surgeon from Athens, and uh, I have the pleasure uh, to have with me Sarah Thomas from uh, University of Leuven in uh, Belgium. Uh, Sarah is uh, one of our European Venus experts, and I have a couple of questions for you, Sarah. Regarding compression after endovenous ablations, you know, we've gone a long way from uh, wearing compression for a month or even six weeks to no compression. So you've seen this evolution as it has gone through the years. What is your current practice? Are there any guidelines? Yeah, uh, indeed, as you mentioned, we come from, you know, wearing compression for already six weeks. And I think that was mainly because we performed a lot of open surgeries. Uh, back then, so the, the only thing that we have to take into account is why are we wearing compression? Is it to, uh, to have a, a diminished uh, uh, treated vein, eh? so to, to eliminate the, the, the stasis of, of blood in there, or do we want to diminish the complications of the, the treatment? So I think that's one of the, the things that we have to take into account. So if we only perform endothermal ablation, we wear compression stockings for two weeks. Eh? Um, this, uh, we came from where we six weeks up to two weeks now. We see that everything goes well. Eh? Uh, we wear compression class two uh, stockings. Um, when you look at literature, you see that in the randomized controlled trials that have been done the last two, three years, you see that uh, in many studies, they even suggest to diminish it to one week because the pain scores um, are diminished after one week and uh, it's not necessary to wear it even longer. Huh? But some of the studies are using class one, some other studies are using class two, so it's sometimes difficult to compare all the studies. So then when we look at the big systematic reviews, we see that uh, the, they also come to the same conclusion that one week would probably be enough. Eh? Uh, but of course, if you would do uh, a concomitant uh, phlebectomies, then maybe it's necessary to wear it a little bit longer. That's why Two or we, three weeks. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. Does it make a difference in your practice if you're using thermal or non-thermal ablation? If you do foam or if you do glue, do you feel comfortable reducing or completely eliminating compression? Yeah, for the foam sclerotherapy, we still use it because we feel that it's necessary to apply compression and now we also use eccentric compression and we use some pads over the vein and then we also wear it for uh, two weeks. Eh? So we start uh, wearing it uh, day and night in the beginning and then change to uh, only in the daytime. Um, with these new techniques like the glue, apparently you cannot, it's not necessary to wear compression, eh? uh, but we don't use it in our practice, so I don't know. Uh, how um, other colleagues are doing it, but probably they are not wearing compression. But I think uh, now, these days, after these uh, endothermal ablation and after non-thermal ablations, the time is really uh, less and diminished, and I think we can feel free to do that uh, according to our practice and according to the patient that is in front of you. Well, thank you so much, Sarah, for sharing your experience. It's been very illuminating. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you.